to channel Kateko Waluka. Let's do a rose today. We are going to use crochet hook 1.75 millimeter, a pair of scissors, and wool. You can do this without wool. You need Mirage 4 ply wool. That's what we chose. This is color parchment. Sit down, enjoy, hit the subscribe button, share with your friends, and also the notification bell so that you never miss any of our interesting tutorials. Let's enjoy. We will start with a chain of 47. That's how we make a knot that will count as one. Then we we'll do two, three, four, five, six, until we have 47. So let's move when we have 47. So when you have 47, you are going to count three backwards one two three and on the fourth one we are going to work a double stitch so we work a double stitch there on the fourth one we chain two and do another double stitch on that same hole we are trying to create some small triangles so to create another triangle from there is to make another double stitch today which we are going to count three one two three so on the third one there we are going to do a double stitch we chain two and create another triangle in that same hole so i hope you can see now that we have some small triangles opposing each other to create another triangle is to count three one two three on that third chain we are going to do a double stitch so we are going to continue like that creating those triangles now you know we chain two and come and do a double stitch there so we continue like that until we have a smaller yana piece basically continue until we have 13 of these triangles on top one two so you should have a total of 30. here we go you should have a lacy pattern looking like that with small triangles one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty so every space of three you are introducing a, a triangle meaning 13 by 3 is 39 so you can tell how many stitches you have left and now we are going to do the leaves these leaves on top of that pattern so we are going to chain three one two three turn our work and do double stitches a total of eight double stitches in this window the first triangle there a total of eight so this leaf that we are doing now we were doing it in tutorial 18 where we were doing our classic granny smith fingerless gloves Let's check if we have eight. This counts as one, two, three, four, six, eight. So we have eight. And we are going to do a 
a single stitch on that middle triangle the one that is facing down like that and on this one that is facing up we are going to repeat doing eight double stitches eight double stitches in it so let's quickly do eight double stitches in it okay we are done with our eight double stitches and now in between there you put a single stitch then the next triangle you do eight double stitches inside it so that's how we are going to roll Let's check if we have eight. That is a single stitch, two, four, six, and eight one. And we do a single stitch. So you will see the pattern will start to look like that all the way down. Let's enjoy. We are at the end of the last a triangle we are just going to slip stitch into this window that we created first then we do that and slip stitch but we're going to leave a longer tail because we're going to use this to join or finish off our beautiful work so you should have something spiralish like that uh, but very gorgeous yes so now we are going to roll this into our rows and we are going to just make a small roll there I'm going to take a small piece of wool and just hold it secure that in there so that it doesn't undo itself. Okay, I'm going to get a very small piece to secure the very first part of my rose there. So I like doing that. I will just take this from there hook it through like this but I'll have yes I'll have one tail out I'll just take this one in here and I tie this this is just for my very inside of my rose not to undo itself. Sometimes it has a tendency of opening up. Then I cut the strings and this one it will be my guide. I roll my rules like that you can see it's turning out all summer so. and roll 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 oh roses are beautiful i'm telling you so there we go there we have our beautiful rose but we have to secure it now so I'm going to uh, take that wicking wool and just put my needle from the center here through that and take it in. Like that, yes. 
So I will now just cook. Play around with this. Cook it there. Uh, I'm also trying to do the, those V's, the triangles that I was doing. But this time is securing my rows. I think now I have secured my rows nicely. Um, Before I hide, let's tie them. Mm -hmm. I'll just cut that long string and hide it more. But I guess you have the answers of how we finished our lovely rooms. So I know you have loved this. Please share with friends. Um, Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and um, let's meet when we have more things to learn together. So voila, that's how we do our simple rules.